Stardate, something 2093. This is my final message. This is my goodbye. It's been a long fight, a strong journey, and I want to thank all the men on my team. And some women, too, you know, we, we don't really discriminate that much. I mean, come on, dig the Anyways, point being, <clears throat> uh, we've partied. We've had a good time together. But unfortunately, we've lost the fight. What you're about to witness is the last remaining footage and evidence of our journey. Of our time together. Please, don't let the party die out. This is Brad. Captain Brad. But you could just call me Brad Tasting Music signing out. Goodbye. Oh, all right, I'm done recording. We can get our real thoughts out of the way. That shit was boring. All right, that Quedeca album, trash. It's Yeet time, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, no more crap yard, exactly. We are now listening to Yeet. All right, okay, look. Yeet, previous project, was interesting. Don't get me wrong, it was an interesting listen, uh, though maybe kind of a little garbage <laughs> at some points. I still thought it was entertaining. Again, lots of flaws, but entertaining, which you know what, I'll take. I, I think that's acceptable. Uh, but with this new project, I've been excited for this. Now, I understand something, that Yeet has grown on me uh, since I last listened to uh, Yeet, and the main reason, the main reason is this project right here. Where is it? Uh, up to me, there it is. Listen, up to me is so good. Okay, it's actually so good. Like, it has no right being as good as it is. It is a fantastic listen. Yeah, 2020, 2093, okay? Up to me, amazing project, so many fun bangers in it, okay? And now we're back with 2093. Now, I feel like Yeet has gone from somebody who people have not really been taking all that seriously from the very beginning to someone who has actually kind of perfected a, a bit of their style and crafted a lane for themselves. They had that feature on the Drake album, which was so good that it made Drake look like garbage in comparison, which honestly was not that hard to do. When Yeet dropped Rich Minion, I knew he was the GOAT. Uh, well, okay, well, um, yeah. This is literally his rodeo. Bro, listen, all right, look at this. L look at this. A 90, a 95, that would be crazy if it was a 95. It's, it might as well be a 95 because it's a 75 average score on this new Yeet project, okay? For Yeet, for an hour, and uh, for a 70 minute project, that is incredible. That is incredible. That is an accomplishment right there, okay? So listen, went to the last Yeet album, maybe not really taking it all that seriously, but this time, and by not taking it seriously, I was playing literally Roblox. <laughs> Everybody with his honk. This time, all right, we are going to be analyzing all the lyrics. We are going to be uh, perfectly interpreting all the songs. But most importantly, most importantly, we're going to be standing up. Ugh. Now, understand that we might end up sitting down again, which would be an unfortunate circumstance. But uh, just know that I don't have a lot of stamina. Her song, Psycho CEO. Oh my. Oh, dude, okay. I'm feeling. The goat, the goat, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Let me play it back for you in case you missed it. Okay, go. Holy shit. I'm, I'm, it's a 10. The album's a 10. You heard what I heard. Who the fuck is Killer Mike, okay? Yeet! This is the year of yeet. Actually, it's not. We're predicting the year of yeet right now, 2093, all right? You're gonna have to wait that long to see the Grammy. Most of you guys ain't even gonna be there, okay? But it's gonna happen. This production is terrible, bro. 
What did I say last album, okay? Listen. Produced by Dulio and Geo Got Bands? What the fuck? Anyways, point being, production is good if it complements the song. Now, I'm going hard. The snare sounds terrible. It sounds stock, okay? But yeet, he hears it. He understands it. He knows better than you, which is why it goes hard. Yo, he said Mr. Worldwide? Now, the fact that Psycho CEO feels like a song that is longer than the three and a half minute length, it does make me a little concerned uh, about the 70 minutes of this. I'm just kidding, you guys. Here's the thing. All right, sure, the song felt kind of long, but you know what? It's because it slows down time, kind of like how lean slows down your blood flow, okay? And it's supposed to represent that. And as a result, I got to say, I'm falling into it. I'm getting drunk through the music, and that's what it's done. That's how it's supposed to be. Boom. Smiley ball. Good start, okay? He's talking about his diamonds. He's talking about how he's cutting you off. And he can cut you off at any time, too. Get him the scissors. That's what it is. Next song, Power Trip. Hey. I just got here at the perfect time. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Nobody wants to listen to that crap yard crap, okay? That's what I'm saying. You finally arrived at the right time. Huh? I done some things I never did. Yo, Tina. I need... I need shots. I need the drink. I need I need the smoke. I shouldn't even have to ask. Do you not see what we're listening to? Come on. This is this is emergency. I don't care that it's only four o'clock. Alright, we're getting turned up. We need to get the henny, exactly. Put it on yes, put it on Hive Minds tab. That's what I'm saying. Hive Minds there. Alright, put it on the tab. They got it. Oh, good switch up. Now, here's what I want to mention, okay? There are artists who basically heavily rely on creating vibes, right? Who will be very one note in their delivery and their presentation in doing so, and will have moderate success as it feels like it's basically carried by the production. What I like about Yeet is while he does kind of have something very rudimentary going for him, uh, he is constantly switching things up, at least in a way that I think is subtle. In the last song, he had those very chipmunky, kind of weirdly uh, tuned vocals that go on throughout the background, and I feel like this beat switch is nice, you know what I mean? But again, he's got a confident delivery. It sells it. I believe it, and I am paying attention to the lyrics. You are able to hear them, and you know what? They're simple in a way that's dumb fun, and I like that. And the whole lot get worse when you try. <laughs> Bro describing Yeet like it's ambient music, but I kind of see your point. Exactly. And that distortion too. There you go. Exo says the beats here are actually interesting, unlike every other rage beat I heard last year. Lyrics are interesting enough to keep me engaged. I'm way louder than the song. Oh, I see. Okay, I got you. There we go. I'm gonna shut this fucking place down, alright? No more volume regulation for regulation regulation for for wheat. Okay. That song was awesome. See oh it's not wait, it's not even over. That was a switch up. Oh, that was a switch up. <laughs> What's the difference between this and King Carson, please? I struggle to find where you find him. This interesting over him. Well, for one, this song had three switch ups. I want to talk about very specific things switch ups, distortion, 
changing flows and ideas. I mean, it's actually fluid music. Power Trip is great. I think that it actually stands on its own, again, because of the distinctive ideas with the distortion throughout the entire song. Uh, even with the beat switches, it feels like a weird futuristic journey that somehow actually oddly comes back together. I give it a smiley ball. I enjoyed that quite a lot. And the button's not working, so I'll just say I gave it like an eight. Kodeka type beat, yeah. You know what? I take it back what I said about Psycho CEO. This song is worse. Power Trip 2.1 out of 10. Boring. Just kept going. CEO is now a 3.8 out of 10. Bro. <sighs> and all this hate and negativity. It's really getting to me, you know? But you know what improves my mood? The next song, Breathe by Yeet. Okay? Oh. Hey. Tom Sawyer? Tom Sawyer on the track? I was bored by the shit, made a billion. Now fuck that bitch in the trees. Now fuck that bitch in the field. Made me so damn in as far as I can tell they wanna sound like me, they wanna be like me. I'm cutting open, I'm doing surgery. No, I don't stress. I could not get Here's the thing, okay? I might not be equipped to talk about what makes these songs very specifically distinct. However, we do have an expert here who is modded, and that is Hexobite. Also, a little bit of Brazilian funk with that synth underneath the track. Bro, it's pulling from Brazilian funk. That's kind of like when I pull the Don Julio from the shelf. It's, it's an amazing pull. We'll squish it like bug. They ain't fuck with me, so it's fake love. I won't shake your hand, bitch, in your glove. Wash the hey. my hands, I need dough. Hey. I said fuck love, bitch, in your toe. I might fuck time. Dude, that's so funny. Holy shit. Bug. They ain't fuck with me, so it's fake love. Yeah, my money's so deep. And as far as I can tell, they want to sound like me. They want to be like me. I think Breathe is fantastic. I think it's the most fun song so far. Uh, with a lot of great ideas throughout it. Some really funny lyrics as well. That's another smiley ball. Bro. I'm loving it. The deluxe is tomorrow? Bro, it's already 70 minutes and 22 songs. What do you mean, deluxe? You say the song's not a 10. That might actually be where it peaks. I'm gonna be honest. I can't see it getting much better than that. That was awesome. That was so fun. All right. Next song, more. Deluxe Pro is actually dropping 2,093 tracks. Hey. Oh, shit. We're going in the future. Picking up on something. It's a trans, a transmission. It's from the future. It's, it's ye. Not very original. Here's the thing, okay? You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Just present a better design. This is a rage song with a really creative spin on it that actually feels futuristic. I think it succeeds at its mission. And as a result, it's really easy to get into and vibe with. Um, the fact that I am able to get to this point of the song, which if it started here, yeah, maybe it would kind of feel a little rudimentary. But it's all about the presentation that makes it feel a bit more like an experience. And as a result... It's fun. It's all hell. Uh, his vocals are conflicted for me because the beat comes in all menacing and brooding, and then he's kind of goofy. Here's my opinion. I'm used to his voice. It sounds like he's having fun with it. He does sound relatively serious, um, but you are allowed to have a sense of humor with that. Uh, I don't feel like it means you have to start being boring. You know what I mean? Enhance. 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 It won't go any further. Shut up. Enhance. Enhance harder. Ah. More is awesome. Loved it.
is another great song for me. I thought it was super fun and creative, stylistic, and I had a great time. I moved along with it. Bro, uh, bought the, bro this next song is called Bought the Earth. You're talking about a flex? Bro literally dropped a, a quintillion dollars, all right? You don't even know how much that is. Oh, the aliens. I'm being abducted. This is such an unfortunate day for me. I really hope the, the aliens don't have a interstellar trap house. Oh man, that would be really unfortunate. I don't even know what I'd do. What would I wear? Just go in and be yourself, man. Okay. Yeah, no, it's not our great. Hey, am I wrong for being selfish? Nah. Am I wrong for putting me first? Nah. And I know why you confused, I got a way with words. Is it money, is it power, which one first? I make more money than you ever did. I'm gonna say it. This song reminds me of Chief Keef quite a bit, actually. A lot more money, David. Sit on your life. You want a fairy tale life? You want me to tuck you in? Alien drug ballad, yeah. I'll never look back on the bridge I burned. I'll tell you one thing that's way the word. Making out his money enough to buy the earth. I bought the earth. I sold it too. I say your whole life. If I could too, you can't fit in. A pair of shoes Damn, what we could do Damn, a paranoid and rude Damn, how disrespectful do you thought you know Live a lot of life now Dude, that was literally an alien, like, trap ballad I thought that was hilarious, but also at the same time, weirdly forward-thinking creative i honestly like that <laughs> quite a bit i was waiting for a drop but it never happened because it isn't actually going for that style of song but by the end of it it actually like there's there's a lyrical climax of buying the earth and i i thought it was really fun uh ridiculous it made me smile a lot um it was fun but not a great song listen he's changing the game all right it's okay if you're a little bit late to the party Okay, it works in the album experience. It really does. Nothing changed. Next song. Things change. A uh, lot of things change. People don't change. I just spent a quarter million on a fuck change. I just spent a quarter million on that fucking plane. I just spent a half a million on the cousin. I just spent a quarter million on the button. Yeah, cover up. I wash my hands of all the blood and then I keep it real. Just tell me how you. What is he changing with this album? If you want to see two change, look at what Travis did uh, with Yeezus Influenced. Here's the thing. You have to ask the question. Does Ye need to change? I think the answer is no. What Yeet is doing and what he's been doing has been working for him and working for his music for a while. That being said, a small change to aesthetic and making it feel like a different experience without changing what makes his music good in the first place... That, I think, is more important than him basically coming through with a Yeezus or some crazy shit. This, to me, is a fun, creative change in his own way. Hey! I just called up Elon Musk. Asked him where we landing. I just called up SpaceX. Uh, asked him, where's my planet? Dude, like here's the thing, okay? The flexing has reached an interstellar level. Now, that to me is so fun. I love that. Like I hear that shit and immediately I'm like, hey, yo, that's, hey, let's go. That's why I need to go. I can't listen to no music, I can't fucking stand it. Pop so many eggs, pills, I don't know how I'm standing. Like Jimmy Butler, man. Yeah, I can couple watch, couple watch move. Ooh, good comment here by Turquoise Death. One thing people are ignoring is that he's paying attention uh, to structure very attentively now. On past albums, he would just loop the beat, take drums out, etc. Here he is fully developing these tracks. Exactly. He, like, 
look, he's not going to offer the greatest experience lyrically. You can say the same thing about someone like Travis Scott. But you're right. The songs feel like complete experiences, and it's fun as hell. Just tell me how you feeling. When you come inside this building, tell me how you feeling. I don't want to hear it last one how you feeling. I can't fucking stay. I wonder if this album's going to end with him going bankrupt uh, with the way he's spending money, first purchasing the earth for an unknown sum of money and now throwing around 250000 I don't know where you're getting the 250000 from because I clearly hear him saying half a mil. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. I feel like if you're going to leave a crazy comment like that, you might as well check the accounting first, okay? All right. We going broke speed run right now. <laughs> Nothing Change is awesome. I like that song a lot. It's a smiley ball for me. <sighs> Bro, this, this, this is such a good review right here. Twizzies, check. Tonkas, check. Lean slash oxies, check. Batman, check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check. Osama Bin Laden? Not a check. You know why? Because he's not down with that shit. I respect it. You know? He's got his uh, morals straight. Very respectable. Next song, You Should Know. Ooh. Getting another transmission. It's, it's the pinball machine, it's floating. Uh, he's sober now, and he mentions, uh, and whenever he mentions drugs on this, he talks either in the third person or past tense, and he doesn't talk about them nearly as much. Honestly, for someone who talked about drugs and who I feel like was associated with drugs as much as Yeet, him going sober should not be understated. Like, that's incredibly impressive. He mentioned snakes. The snake is long seven miles. Feel its venom with your eyes. It's muttering grip will stay in your soul. The snake is old. The snake is cold. A slightly improved yeet is still yeet. You damn fucking right it is. It's still yeet. He didn't lose what made him interesting in the first place still yeet sticking to his guns the man is the same I know you say you love me. I know you know you think we're different. people focus on the lyrics but they would uh they should focus on the way he's delivering it yeah it's an experience the lyrics i i feel like in my opinion the flexing and whatnot in an entirely different setting is an entirely an entirely different feeling it's a taste, and I like it. Not everyone's gonna feel it, but I personally really like it. I think the distortion uh, that's on a lot of these songs kind of signify letting the party and vibe take over. It's almost causing the song to forget where it, yeah, there you go, the vibe is overpowering. Exactly, it's kind of like allowing you to just go hard, you know? It, I, I appreciate, yeah. And I could. Bro, why did Yeet have to take shots at me? I know I don't get women, but I don't need that my favorite artist to say it to my face. No, I, I get that totally. Hey, uh, the party has kind of run out of waters and everyone's kind of just chilling and whatnot. We kind of see you're just like over here. Would you mind going out and get us, getting us some more? You know? No, no it, it's not that we don't want you... I, it's the opposite. We we feel like you would be best, and we would appreciate if you helped us get some more beverages for the party, okay? We just feel like that would be the best thing right now, okay? Money, it feels so good. Quick, lock the door! Now take your time. Make sure you get the right brand of water, okay? We don't want any of that cheap shit. 
I like that song a lot. Smiley Ball. It's another winner for me. See, well, the, there was, like, songs that are more subtle and whatnot. This one, bro, this one just was crunchy as hell. Still very futuristic, but bombastic, bro. Oh, man. It's okay to admit Yeet wouldn't be Yeet without its production, but let's be honest, we'd much rather listen to Yeet over these beats than any... Yeah, exactly, yeah. No, I agree. I feel like uh, I, I would prefer Yeet over this uh, with some clever punchlines and a very calm, slick, low delivery uh, as opposed to some other people. Lifestyle with Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne and Future <laughs> ass on this. Of course, Brad, do you want anything else while I'm out? I'm really enjoying the party. Wow. I mean... Just the fact that you're asking if we need something more than just water shows that you really are a great friend. Um, we also need some drugs for the party, but none of that cheap shit. You're going to have to drive about three, four miles, did I say miles? Hours uh, south to get that really good stuff from the place we like. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll still be partying when you come back, but trust me, it's going to make the party all worth it. I know a guy, okay? All you wanna see is diamonds. Hey. All I wanna see is violence. Hey. You don't know how inside of my mind gets. Oh. Such a mild, close your eyelids. Pay your price. I'm not surprised that I live this life. Could you do what I did and do it twice? Almost lost your job tonight. Some dark it's wave vibes. I feel that. Let me go crazy or let it turn into a lie. But don't get so damn crazy that it's stepping with a knife. Something's great. So, oh, the lighter. It's the man of me in the eyes. You see my eyes bleeding. Oh, that bitch give me head. That bitch give me brain. I feel like a mind reader. Oh, look up. It's a bird. Look up. It's a plane. No bitch is a desert eagle. Got the niggas hey. on pins and needles on thin eyes like ballerinas. I ain't playing with their bitch asses. Little tongue tries to spit asses. Small feet, but I kick asses. Call me in your bitch ass. I've been on the job 24-7. I keep the AK-47. I'm a cheesehead with my hood yellow. I'm outside like Coachella. I might drive her throat wetter. I fly by and leave no feathers. Hey. All you wanna see is diamonds. Bro, I can't believe it. He transported Lil Wayne from the past to be on this album. Like, that's dedication. I didn't even know they had that kind of technology in the future. I, and then he just sent him back. That's wild. I wanna see his violence, but it's also perfect time. Make a silence to remind you. See, what I like is uh, not only is it a feature, a song with a feature from Lil Wayne, but it's also one of the most uh, powerful and well-constructed aesthetics of the entire album and just truly one of the most joyous and fun tracks so far. One that you get lost in. Uh, one that honestly feels like you get so lost into that you start to sort of lose consciousness, which is scary uh, because you know the people around you. They got Sharpies. And your password to your phone is 1234, and basically everyone's going to figure that out. So, you know, you got to stay up. You got to stay partying. That's just how it is. Smiley ball. Low win past. Yeet future. Scroll for the track list. I got you. I love... Whoa, Brad, my car broke in the middle of the road. It looks like someone sabotaged the tires or something. I might take a little time. Uh, it might take a little more time to bring the drugs and the water. Oh, man. That's crazy, dude. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Wow, man. Well, we wish you the best of luck, you know? Hey, hang in there, buddy. Ding. All right. Hey. I love when you range with me. I love when you stay with me. How long can you stay with me? Ah, man, I didn't realize I'd be thrown into this crossfire of laser beams. But I gotta say, it's a good thing that everything's in slow motion, so I could dodge them pretty easily. I love you, 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 I love you,
you love it. But I know you trying to listen to me. Yeah, but I know you love it. I love this song goes unreasonably hard. Will you range with me? I love, I love. I love you, so I love you, so I love you, so Here's the thing, though. Also understand, we're nine songs in, and I don't think there's a dud so far. Um, I genuinely think that Yeet has continued uh, to not only increase, like, to focus on the flow of this album for something that is this long, to be nine songs in, to not even be close to tired of it, is extremely impressive. But, like, the diversity of tracks is crazy. The journey is actually quite real. It is. It's an album experience. It's fucking great. I buy your company and sell your hard work for a dime. Dude. <laughs> I love it so good. <laughs> I remember when you were playing Roblox over Yeats last time and now you're vibing your ass off. Yeah, because I realized I was doing it wrong. You know what I mean? With Yeet. You know, you can't just immediately write Yeet off because of the style of music, you know? Especially when I feel like some of the other stuff that I've been hearing from Yeet up to me has really been working for me. Um, I'm, I'm getting an actual experience out of this. It's great. You can hear the Ben Shapiro influence on this one. X song, uh, tell me. This is so much more accurately labeled as rage, uh, than the gray matter Ken Carson and destroy lonely pump out. Yeah. There's a lot of rage music where I feel like, uh, it's just a, a, a sea of bass with no distinguishable elements or melodies and basically very mediocre half-baked, drugged-out rapping. Um, but the creativity of this project is what really makes it stand out right now. Next song, Tell Me. I reviewed this album and gave it a 14 out of 100. Now the White Boys uh, Suburban Scooter Squad is on to me in the comments. Yeah, because that's uh, a terrible score and extremely unbased. Oh, oh, shit. Guys, I think someone breached the ship. Yo, give me an update on the hole. What's going on out there? Oh, it's coming closer. Oh, no. What do we do? We gotta fire everything. I don't care, it's a civilian ship that accidentally hit us. Fire everything! What makes this record so great is that the rage pulls from EDM, but also lacked, uh, but always lacked the experimentation of EDM in the modern underground. This is just rage finally matching its influences. Exobite, the EDM expert, everyone. Speaking facts. Turn the wheels to the left, right, not better. Go be fake, bitch, yeah, be real's not better. Captain Brad, the Vulcans are coming to steal our perks. What do we do? What? What's that? We should give our perks to them so we don't lose innocent lives? Are you crazy? Fire all the weapons! Do not lose our cargo! What you want, I will hold the gun. I never would care. Feel like ain't fair. It's brand new to me. Let's feel free. It's Send all the twizzies. All the Tonkas. Oh, yeah, this album is like extremely trippy. That's what happens is like when you put a lot of care in something that I feel like has a very clear direction uh, in terms of the sound, it's very easy to go from track to track and imagine yourselves in different scenarios uh, that all kind of partake with this album. Sure, I'm screwing around a lot, you know, um, but it actually is quite easy to put myself in this situation, um, which is the album doing its job. It's really effective. It's actually talking about his drug abuse here. Believe it or not, it's actually quite compelling. Uh, this is, I, I love that song, man. This song actually took kind of a dark and serious turn as well throughout that track. Um, yeah, that was great. Another very unique song to this album with a really cool, trippy sound and style that, again, is showing me that... The next, bro, Dax is telling me the next song is amazing. Best song. All right. 
I'm gonna shut up. That was a good song. Let's see where it goes. Am I dead? Is this heaven? Or did I just take one too many pills again? Oh, shit! Wait! No, I'm awake! Where am I? Yeah, fuck off, fuck off. Can't be mad that I'm well off. Can't be mad that I did this shit. Can't be mad that I told this bitch. You a dumb motherfucker. You not fool, but no amount can fit. Shit, why you always talking shit? Cause no Balenciaga's kind of fit. I just made the whole world my bitch. It's worth mentioning that the, the, the messiness of this track is very in line with what you'd expect. Uh, from Rage Music, so I really appreciate that it's staying loyal to that, um, but doing it in a way that actually feels new and refreshing. Is this flow? A little bit, yeah. Captain Brett, Master of the Void in 20, uh, 2093. In your shadows we thrive, fueled by your unwavering resolve. Together we navigate the abyss, uh, forging our paths amidst the cosmic unknown into the worlds of Yeet. Indeed. And I guess I am still your captain, okay? I know we've lost a lot of men, all right? But we gotta look at the positives, okay? We still have all our perks, okay? And I feel like the best way to commend our fallen soldiers, to really give them the love that they deserved, is to take 20 perks in their honor. So everybody, show up to the funeral. We're gonna get lit. She said, yeah, it is no I rather be. Oh shit. Oh, it's switching. Oh. Guys, I think the perk is wearing off. Starting to see demons. Think more? Why didn't I think of that? See, this is why I need you guys here, right? You would have think I would have been able to come up with that solution on my own, you know? Damn. Handfuls. I'm taking these off for a second. I'm sweating. Ooh. Alright, so I guess I'll talk about the album at the halfway point, uh, since I am sweating like crazy. Uh, strong Ad 10 for you. Uh, I like that song. Do I think it's my favorite? No. Um, but I think it works very well in this album in terms of keeping things moving forward. I'd probably give it, like, uh, a strong 7 in my opinion. Um, reason being is I do feel like there are some moments where the space is just a little bit empty. Uh, where I am not really able to put myself in a vibe as much. Um, but I also feel like it's kind of made up for for the fact that it is one of the most complete and interesting, almost cinematic tracks here with just tons of ideas uh, that actually come together into something that feels oddly complete. We need a gallon of lean and some Xanax stat. Whew. Sounds like a dangerous combination. Why am I dressed like Fantano? I don't have my bald cap on, so it's not really official. Keep pushing. That's what I say to my men on the ship. Not to keep pushing forward, but to keep pushing those perks on the suspecting pirates flying by, okay? Unsuspecting pirates. All right, anyways, yeah. Go back to Lean City. Oh, literally. We've made it. This civilization has large buildings, but I don't seem to see anything past the crystal fields. Oh, wait. I think something's approaching. Oh my god. It's a trap. It's a setup. Wait. No, wait. They're not here to attack us. They're here to offer us alien lean. This is the best mission of our entire days, man. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we all struggled for to get to the alien lean. Men, let's go. We live like this, like we ain't for a bad motherfucker, no, no. no. Ready your double cup soldiers? Tonight we sit. Oh, the aliens. 
Wait a second. This lead. I don't feel anything. This alien lean is weak shit! Oh crap! This party's a bummer! We gotta get out of here! It's big lean! Run! I'm stranded on the perks uh, planet, are you getting my signal? Oh, man, the perk planet you say, huh? Well, we're heading right there now. Keep pushing. It's easily the weirdest song so far. Um, and I love it for that. <laughs> I thought it was like... You know, if you have a bunch of songs like this on an album, it's going to get a little weird and out of character and a little funky. But having one song like this really is fun. <laughs> I liked it. Anyways, I got your call, Liam. We're heading over to the Perk Planet now. Riot and set it off. Captain's Log, day 1984. No Perk Planet in sight. Oh, that must be it. I see it. It's the one that's glowing red. But does that mean it's too hot to enter? No. It's just a planet made of perks. Get it ready to land, sir! No sign of life anywhere on this planet. No, 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 oh wait, I'm picking up on something. Oh. I didn't realize that the red was actually Percocet gas. Man, we must get to the ship before we party forever on this planet. It was a trap. <laughs> ah, the Percocets! Ah. Right and Set It Off feels like another adventure. Even though it's not the most complete song here, I still am having a time of my life with this album, enjoying where each song goes, as it just feels like these odd alien experiments, and I'm loving it. Team CEO. Whoa, I woke up in Chris Brown's body? Damn. This must be one of those perk fever dreams. It's 2093 on a It's 2093 It's like fitting out that force up instead of purse. Instead of blessing and curse, I just did it first. Oh, I'm awake. Sir, it has appeared that we found an antidote to the perks. You idiot! Why would you find something so evil? I checked him from the ship! Quick! The plug has betrayed us, Captain. He's sending an army of ops towards us. Worst of all, he's weakening us with gas station weed. <laughs> what do we do? Gas station weed. So that's what was coming out of the ventilation system. Men, we have prepared for this. We must hit hyperdrive and get out of here and go somewhere safe. Hopefully we can find the intergalactic, <laughs> the intergalactic trap house. We must. Quick. Release the Tonkas. All systems go. Team CEO is one of the most unique on this album, one of the most lush sounding, and uh, has an amazing vibe. I liked it a lot. Smiley Bull. Oh, this becomes a video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably going to release the video with like very minimal editing, because I agree. This is, uh, this is a fun one. 2093 title track, you guys. Maybe this whole album has been a journey to get to 2093, and we were just currently living in 2092.8. Okay. Oh shit! The ship isn't really handling that hyperdrive all that well. Oh crap! This isn't the intergalactic trap house. We've landed in the Lean Lagoon, the Milky Lean Galaxy. Must be 
started going crazy. All I can hear is, I'm living in the current year, in my head. It's actually a blessing in disguise we've landed in the Lean Lagoon. Cause our station, our spaceship runs on lean. This is our chance to fill up. I heard that intergalactic trap house has a cyber perk that turns you into the CI CEO of the multiverse. Good luck, Captain. Thank you. It's a far journey, though. We gotta really fill up. Wait a minute. This isn't lean. This is non-alcoholic wine. Man, get to the ship. We gotta get the hell out of here. Run, retreat. Oh shit, this goes hard. Bro, that song was fun. What can I say, man? The vibe continues. I'm not mad. I live in 2093. I live in 2093. Stand on it featuring Future. The Lean King. Maybe that's it. System alert, Fent in the vent. <laughs> uh, we don't fuck with vent over here in the ship. That's impossible. Uh, I'm just the janitor in the ship. What the actual fuck is happening? Ugh. Static, I'm sorry, but there's no janitors on the ship. You must have lost your memory at some point, which I completely understand. It's very typical to happen on this ship for people to lose their memory. But, you know, just take a few days in the sobriety chamber and you should be back to where you were. Stand on it. All right, man. We've been preparing for this. We're meeting the Emperor of Lean today. Do not make a fool out of us. We stick together. We are getting close. Put on your anti benzo suits, men. Be careful. This lean planet has a lot of lean beasts. If they smell Percocets on your skin, they'll think you're food. So must wear these anti-perk suits. There he is, the Emperor of Lean. You have to speak very loud to him. He's pretty far away. Okay, guys, I wrote down... Uh, what what Emperor Future said when we get back to the ship we could try to decipher it It might take a while to decode what he said, but I made sure to write it all down All right, we just have to associate the picture with the word All right, we just got to do that and soon we'll find the coordinates to our next location big guns, big trucks, zombies. That song went crazy hard. I liked it. I heard people complaining about futures mix. I did I, I didn't mind it at all Matches the vibe. I don't think production is bad if it makes the vibe work Hey Brad, hope the party's going well. I actually got what you needed, but after meeting your guy who called me a dumbass, uh, but I think he's just grumpy, I think I lost myself. Don't stop the party. You lost? Or... Oh, man. Did you try the drug stash before you got here? Yeah, I'm sorry, man, but that stuff is really strong. Unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to have anything for the party. You might want to try to find somewhere to lay low for the night, you know, recover and whatnot. Um, but trust me, next time we have a party, you're definitely going to be invited. Just make sure you bring water, okay? Wait, message has been deciphered, Captain. It's a recipe for lean beef patties. Lean beef patties. We must go to the cookout planet. On our way. Aware of the infamous bounty hunter Perk Lord and his band of misfits, the Guardians of the Perks. I see a ship on our radar. Don't worry. We've dealt with this guy before. Alright? We just have to offer him a little bit of our lean. It's a pleasure doing business with you, sir. We wish you well. Alright, guys. Hit hyperdrive. We didn't give him actual lean. We gave him the, uh... Alcoholless red wine from earlier. We gotta go. We gotta go. Go, go, go. Familia once again just sounds fantastic. It's very dreamy, has an intro and outro, and the progression is great. 
Uh, love the sense in the back. Captain Brad, as your pilot, uh, where are we even going? We've been to five new planets, and all we have to show for it is a laced cart and a lean recipe. Not just any laced cart. This laced cart contains a strand so strong that it could possibly defeat Emperor Lean. I know. I'm planning to betray Emperor Lean. But in order to do that, we must inc we must dis de inscript this cart and get the strand, and only then will we be able to figure it out how to finally defeat Emperor Lean. Mr. In Between It. I'm in the lab and I'm in the lab. Oh no. You think the laced cart had a self destruct sequence? Start spewing its fumes in the air. I don't know where I am anymore. Quick, cover the cart! We can still. Is that a white boy named Noah made this? <laughs> Whoa. I think the cart's kicking in, guys. That shit goes crazy. Captain, we took too much DMT. Now we're on the Joe Rogan podcast. Oh, what's up, Joe Rogan? Hey. Man. It's crazy how Elon Musk preserved you and allowed you to survive until the year 2093. Has anyone ever told you that? Oh. Well, sorry for bringing it back up. Mr. Between is fucking sick. The, the switch up is amazing. The scents are wonderful. And the vibe is immaculate. Another win. You taking cues from iDubs with that forehead? It used to be worse. I've actually regained a lot of hair in my hairline uh, over the last year. Uh, Psycho Kane. Sir, we've witnessed a snowy planet ahead. We've been told that there's important cargo on this planet. Should we stop by? Huh. Okay. I could take a loss. I could take a loss. Slow down! We're gonna crash! I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I'm a god. Why? Why? Star Wars Episode 5. The Leap Higher Vibes Back. With Lou Skyperker, Han Swolo, Darth Vader featuring Chief Baka. Holy shit! Captain, don't sniff the yellow snow! I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. We found Heisenberg on the snow planet. Turns out it was actually snow and not cocaine. A rare incident on this, uh, in this lean galaxy where something actually wasn't drug related. Look into the snow, they have slot machines. Those aren't just any slot machines. Those are slot machines that dispense swishers. Men. Who has quarters on them? Shillings? Anything? We must figure out how to use those slot machines. The plugs and the choppers are at war, Brad. <laughs> Captain Brad? Ah, oh, man. We, should, we best lay low here on this planet for a while. Uh, psych hey, Psycho Kane was fucking cool. I like the whole I forgot the refrain. I think it sounds good. Probably not the most memorable of the whole album, but still very fun. Run they mouth. Oh. Intruders! We must hide. Our ship is not able to go off yet. Right, I've been stranded on a planet with nothing but an ocean of lean and the creatures who live in the lean ocean. What should I do? Bro, you're fucked, bro. We're not going over there. You tell me there's nowhere to land on an ocean of lean? Nah, you're screwed, man. Yeah, drink your drink it so that drink enough lean so we have enough space to land. Okay, real, real evaluation real quick. We've been having a lot of fun screwing around with this album. But I think it's worth mentioning the fact that the journey, not only uh, narratively through us having fun, has expanded. But um, I feel like with the sound here, the fact that things have consistently become more and more incoherent, though we're still occasionally getting highlights and interesting song ideas, shows 
uh, that this album's experience is actually quite successful. And as we're running at the end here, I think that this was just such a fun listen. So, yeah. I know they need me. Sir, we've done it. We've decoded the lace cart. That's it. This is the key. What we've been waiting for. We have to pay President Lean one more visit. Sir, we've rebuilt the whole of the ship. We're ready to take off. All right. Off we go. I got four rings, four hours. One last job. I was alive before hell, but it's up to me for after now. You ready? You need to take a breath before you pass out. No time for detours. We must complete our giant final mission. Does the stream have literally zero delay? It's called paying a lot of money for an internet. Captain's log. Possibly the final one. Emperor Lean has discovered our plans. And he struck us down first. All of our men are sedated. And me? He hit me with the needle. This is a tragedy. I thought we had standards and more. But no. This is unfortunate. It appears that our mission is over. Unfortunately, we were unable to finish this album, but I will listen to it immediately after where the stream goes down. <coughs> I will say, I would give this album an 8 out of 10. It's an extremely fun journey with a lot of <coughs> diversity and its, its presentation and brings a lot of fun stuff into to the, ta <coughs> to the table as an artist. <coughs> Uh, and I thought it was actually a really fun, great listen, possibly his best. <sighs> this is Captain Bradley signing.